The second process in the monitoring and controlling process group in the integration knowledge area is perform integrated change control. This is the process of reviewing all change requests, approving changes, and managing changes to the deliverables, organizational process assets, project documents, and the project management plan. The best way to look at this process is to realize that any suggested changes, whether they appear big or small, may have far-reaching impacts on a project. So it's important to evaluate and consider change from a holistic perspective. In other words, change needs to be integrated and evaluated across all the process groups and knowledge areas. So the most important thing this process does is to allow for changes within the project to be considered in an integrated manner that actually reduces project risk. The Perform Integrated Change Control process is conducted from project inception through project completion. There are a few things to remember here about how change should be handled. If it is a small change, the project manager will need to document it, get a sign off from the customer, and then approve the change. If there is a major change that could significantly impact the project, the project manager should go through the entire Perform Integrated Change Control process. Whether a small or large change, change control is never an informal, but always a formal process with proper documentation required for approving changes. So, we cannot consider a hallway conversation an appropriate way to communicate the need for change. Whether big or small, at minimum, we need to take the time to document the requested change. If it's a significant change, we then need to go through the Perform Integrated Change Control process. The ITTOs, as you can see here, are much the same as the preceding process, except that our key inputs are change requests for those changes that are considered significant or major, which might include corrective action, preventive action, and defect repairs. A key tool and technique is change control meetings, whereby clear procedures and guidelines are established and the board will review all submitted change requests and determine which ones are approved or rejected. The key output of this process is change request status updates, whereby the team can take action on the approved change requests.